<laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing with my new toy. Look. You're like a toddler. I'm getting ready for KetoCon. Well, can we get ready for this? Yes, let's go. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. She's Rachel. And he's Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. That did not work right. <laughs> that felt weird. So one of our subscribers asked us to try roll reversal. We don't like it. We, tr we tried it. <laughs> Let's try it over. Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the 138 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So it is week four of Cut Down to KetoCon. I can't believe we've made it this far. So we're going to KetoCon next week. Now, if you don't know what Cut Down to KetoCon is, it is a challenge that we are doing with Watch Autumn Keto. I'll put a link to the playlist right over here where every week we're reducing our calories a little bit. She's so cool. And so it's been awesome, but it means that KetoCon is, we will actually be leaving on a plane three days from when this video airs. I am. Because this video goes up on Monday and we're leaving on Thursday at 7 a.m. I am not packed. I've not even thought about packing, but I do have a strategy for my pack. What is that? Currently, Caleb is with his dad on vacation. Right. So as new laundry is cleaned, it has been going on the couch. It's been going on his bed. <laughs> so I'm just going to load my suitcase right from his bed. Like I'm not even hanging up clothes. They're just going right in the suitcase. That's a good plan. So maybe, maybe I'm packing my clothes. Maybe I'm packing the boys clothes. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever's on the bed is going. I'm just super excited. First of all, that we're going on vacation. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited for going to KetoCon. And I'm excited for my new toys. Look at this. This is so awesome. Once again, something I did not know was coming to this house. The UPS guy, it's like, hey, Rachel, it's me again. <laughs> like, we're well, I had to call her and be like, you cannot basis. leave the house. Do not leave the house because you have to sign for it. I'm like, what am and I you, signing you for? And you left the house like early in the morning and said, I'll be right back. And I noticed with my ring, you didn't get home until like 1130. Now, what if he would have come before 1130? I would not have my new toy. Wouldn't that be sad? That'd be awful. I would have to wait till Monday. Yeah, I got I, I got stopped at a thrift store looking for something and yeah, started trying on clothes. Fortunately, like usually our UPS guy is always here before noon. Today, mm -hmm. of course, when you have to wait and you have to be home for the signature, it doesn't show up until four o'clock. What do they say? A watched pot never boils. Well, do you want to know about my new toy? Do I? So this is, we are we started our bicycle riding. We said we wanted to like start maybe did filming. Did that thing our, just sing? Yeah, it did. It, well, it's got like tones and stuff. But we, we said that we bought these bicycles and maybe we'd like go on a trail or something and start filming ourselves. Of course, like you have like Mary Poppins bicycle. What trail are we going on? So we're not on? really going on a trail, but Hope maybe we can soft. go ride through a park or something and then maybe sit down and have a vlog or something. Okay. So I was looking at the GoPros and then this new camera just came out. It's called the DJI Osmo Action. It's just like a GoPro. It even uses all the GoPro accessories. Are you going to like solder this thing to my head? No, well, I can. I have a chest harness you can wear with it. Maybe we'll strap it to your helmet. Boob cam. That would be awesome. Let's see. <laughs> no, it's supposed to go out. Oh, you mean not like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what makes this one so different than all the other ones is, look at this. It's got a, hey, wait, wait, you ready? Start recording. Is it recording? No. Oh, I didn't turn the volume thing on. Now it's recording. See, look. You can see yourself. Look, see, that's what's so cool about it. It's got a front-facing screen. Do you think they always, can see them? Well, I don't know. But the thing is, is that that's always been the problem with GoPros is you don't know if you're framed in the shot. So what my plan is, I'm going to turn this off. My plan is... What is all these sounds? Well, it's telling me that I turned it to the back and stuff like that. My laundry's got sounds. My dishwasher has a tune. My so, microwave. It's like, dun, 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 dun. More work for can you. Can I finish talking about my toy? 
Yeah. So my plan was because this thing is so tiny and it films in 4K and it's got really good low light, I was thinking we can start using this to go into stores, like going into Walmart or all these, because the bottom line is like, everybody keeps saying like, can you go do a grocery haul or something like that? I don't think we can, because we're gonna get kicked out. The stores, see, look how tiny this is when you take it off at a little selfie stick. I feel like that still looks like something. The stores are really cracking down. They do not want you filming in the store. There's a few stores that are okay with it, and you would think that, yeah, they would be fine with like YouTubers and stuff when you're promoting like their business like hey look at these awesome things i was gonna say i think you can tell by what people are taping as to like what is the tone of their video so like if i'm you know in the back in your kitchen like aghast at like grime on the floor then yeah i'm probably not videotaping something that's going to show you in a great light but right for the most part when we're like oh, look at this and look at this this grocery store has everything yeah. like it's probably but I mean, a even good video. Thomas DeLaller just did a video on Walmart, which is funny because we're going to Walmart tonight. We're going to go at Are like, we? Yeah. Remember we talked about this. Oh. We're going to go at like 2 a.m. because they're completely dead. And we figured this way we don't have to worry about like people up and down the aisles and everything. I feel like I agreed to this at 2 a.m. on another night when I wasn't quite lucid. Well, we're going at 2 a.m. tonight. Got it. It's a good idea. I got some good ideas for Walmart. Okay. But he got, Thomas DeLola got kicked out of Walmart for filming. Well, don't you think if there's like not a lot of people there that will be more conspicuous? Have you ever been to Walmart in the middle of the night? There's like one employee in the entire store. And you don't think they'll care? I, they got to find me first. <laughs> dun, 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 I dun, seriously dun, went dun, to dun. Walmart at three in the morning looking at bicycles and I was like trying to find someone and I had to walk to the other end of the store to find one employee. It's like ridiculous. There's like never any cashiers open. In fact, like the Walmart by us now, the only cashiers open at night are the like self checkouts. I love self checkout. <laughs> I love it. And it gives me an opportunity to unload all of my change. That's one of my favorite <laughs> things about self checkout is I, I love change. I love paying for things with change. I feel like it's it's free money. I'm gonna right? put this over here so because we don't break it. Nobody but me keeps change. You guys like throw it out the window, like throw it into the floorboard of the car. No one likes change. I mean, except for quarters, but me. I don't mind dimes and nickels. I hate pennies I in keep, my car. I keep it Cannot all. Cannot stand them in my car. And I love going to ch self checkout at Walmart and getting to put it all down in that coin slot. I really only ever my want quarters favorite. in my car because you want them for like air machines or, or all these. You got to have quarters for all these, right? Are you, are you not going to have a dimes and nickels are worthless when you go in the car? Like I always take them home and either give them to you or I throw them in our change jar. Can I tell you a little pro tip? What? If you go to any Aldi's cashier and say I don't have a quarter, they will give you a quarter. Yeah, except for now you have to go hassle and deal with everybody who's online going, you are cutting in line. Well, I'm only asking for a quarter. It doesn't matter. So right? I go in there, you go in there and you say, I don't have a quarter. And then you go back and you say, I don't have a dollar either. And I also don't have a $20 bill. And see what happens. Maybe they'll give you People one. People get aggravated when you cut in line even to ask a question though, right? We went to, there's a dollar general by our house that's going out of business. It's becoming a dollar tree, right? Yeah. And so we were in there yesterday. Dollar. Everything is like 50% off. And Rachel's like, go ask about this. And I'm like, do you see that line? There is like 15 people online waiting to check out with one cashier. If I go up to ask that guy a question, I may get shot. Well, you're supposed to be my protector. That's why I'm sending it's you It's called, out. the sign there says 50% off everything unless it's a dollar or less. I'm going to go by the sign. Okay. He's not going to be cutting in line. I'm not cutting in line. I don't want to get in trouble. I like your shirt. Yeah, Rachel got me this awesome shirt because Caleb's going to college next year. And he's just going to go to Broward College because it's completely paid for. So why not take Bonus. advantage of that? And of course, my wife, the awesome wife she is, like found a Broward College shirt on clearance. Yep, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Which what is, an ordeal. And that was 75% off. Like, what is up with colleges? $40 for a shirt. Seriously. Like, how ridiculous is that? I know, Like, it's we're crazy. advertising your college and you're charging me $40? But that seems about right because remember when you get the books at college and you'd be like, this is like a $25 textbook and I'm paying $200 for it. I like, remember. Oh, it was ridiculous. Very inflated. Thankfully, 
all of Caleb's college books are paid for too with scholarships. Thank you, Lord. So. But it was an ordeal. Oh, I know. We were there all day just trying to get a kid who was already registered. Like, okay, there's so many little forms. I thought I should have a house on the end of this because, and, and also what was really frustrating was like registration, financial aid, the cashier, the advisor, everyone is separate. They don't talk to one another. Kind of sounds like Comcast. Seriously. And they just kept sending us to a different person. Like, nope, that's this guy. Nope, that's this guy. And I thought, I'm, I'm going to lose it. I mean, we were in the floor laughing. Like, me and Caleb were, we enjoyed a good afternoon together because there was just so much laughing going on at the how ludicrous it was. But every single time they would send you to another department, you had to pull a number like you were at the deli and, like, wait. I would have lost it. Yeah. I would have been like, you know what, Caleb, get a job. You're paying for school. <laughs> well, and everybody needs a different, like, you need to make a username and a password to talk to everybody, to talk each department. So what I almost did lose it on is that I was, like, making a password, and it was, like, it needed an uppercase, a lowercase, a number, and then a, a symbol or sign. And so I did that and it kept rejecting it, rejecting it. And then I see, oh, well, the sign can only be a dollar sign, an ampersand, yeah, or I a plus. Yeah, I can't stand it because I usually use a dash. I yeah. use a dash and then a number. And then every once in a while, thank gosh, thank it's God crazy. that iPhones remember all your passwords if you turn on Keychain. Because yes. for years, I used the same password for every single thing, right? Which I is bad. I mean, you bad. used to yell at me all the time. Like, she's it's like, bad. what's the password? And I would tell her to, and she's like, what, what's the password of this? Same one. What's the password of this? Same one. But then, like, somebody actually hacked that password on one thing, and, like, to protect everything, like, I just started changing. Yeah. And everything's got different ones. Because then they have everything you own. But the problem is, is how do you remember them all? You don't. So, fortunately, I mean, with the iPhone, I love it. We have the facial recognition, so I don't have to ever remember it because... I don't have facial recognition. <laughs> Still doesn't know me. The only problem with the iPhone is, is in and on the on the Apple computers on the Macs, it, it says, we're going to suggest the password. It doesn't even <laughs> tell you what the password is. Have you seen that yet? Yeah. No. You go, go register for something and the iPhone suggests a password and it's like 30 somewhat characters long and all kinds of weird. It's probably the strongest password you'll ever have. How are you going to remember it? You're, it? The whole idea is you're not going to remember it. The phone's going to remember it for you. That seems a little bit and like And it will put a different password on every single Big brother thing. though. Yeah. So I don't do that. I've got passwords. I don't remember them. <laughs> <laughs> the iPhones got them, but the good thing is, is I did learn that there was a way on an iPhone that if you don't remember it and you and you don't, you know, and you can't figure it out, or maybe you've changed it a couple of times, there's a way you can go in and actually view the password where it's like you can every password you have all stored in the back of the iPhone. Wow, so. that's amazing because I never remember anything. I can't, I can't even imagine. I know so many times you would be like, what's my password for my email? I'm like, how do I know what it I is? I don't even know what my password is. I don't is. know how many times we've had to reset your passwords. Millions. <laughs> so, so let's talk about our week. It was good. I, I'm really debating a haircut. I'd like to know what everybody else thinks. I don't want Rachel to cut her hair. But it's like, it's really crazy. And I'm at that intersection. Either we're growing it out or we're cutting it. So what do you guys think? What what should I do? Should I cut it or should I leave it and let it grow out? Put it in the comments below. Let us know down below should Rachel cut her hair. And, and we, what color should be next? There you go. Whatever color. Because you know I'm up for anything. <laughs> so let's talk about our week now. Okay. Okay. So we had a good week. Right? We did our bicycle riding. It I went like couple, this. It did. It flew by. I actually, I missed two days of bicycle riding, which was really a bummer, but I had so, well, one day it rained, mm -hmm. right? And it was just pouring rain. And we were both sitting in the house being like, this stinks. Like, I want to go for a bike ride. It was crazy. And the bugs are like. Full swing. Terrible. Yep. Just absolutely awful. We've got these like ridiculous horse flies. Coming and, from and they're not, I it's not our where. house because I even noticed them in church. Yeah. Right? They're everywhere. And then the mosquitoes are ridiculous because we I had so much rain. I am so bit up. Like, I don't even know where leg begins and the bug it's, bites It's end. from all the rain. 
And then if I go to shave my legs, now I've just restarted it. It's like blood. <laughs> it's terrible. But you can't not shave your legs. Right. Does anybody have a strategy for getting around boo-boos? Just let the hair grow. Let's go to like the 1700s. I'm just going to grow my own pants. <laughs> So we did our bicycle riding except for one day of rain and then one day I just had so much work and I knew it was like we literally walked out of the house at 8 a.m. and it was like 92 degrees. It was so ridiculously hot. Sometimes Anthony comes home he's got that like dazed look on his face like too much sun today. But we're trying to get like ahead of our work because next week we only have three days. And then we're going on a plane. I know. So. And in the midst of it, we're starting a new series in kids ministry. Yeah, we're doing a new series. I saw that you put on our Two Crazy Ketos family my drum roll. I did. So for those of you who, who may have seen that, so in our elementary room, we always divide the room into two or three teams. And then after certain things, like we'll play a game or we'll do like, they'll sing a worship song. And like the kids like do motions to the songs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we go whichever team participated, um, participated the more or did, but not, not like did the motions better, but just participated more. Yeah. Um, we give them a prize and we choose the winners based on a drum roll. So the people who are in the back, the tech kids will make a decision and they play that drum roll. So that what she put, what you put on there, I'll play it right here. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. So if you don't hear any music, it's because they were copywriting the music. Um, but basically what I do is just create these drum rolls and we're in a video game series. We're in a video game series. So I would love to though, we played that little promo for the kids last week and the, what they'll see this week is who the winner is, which is either gonna be Mario or Luigi. And that is one- Is it Mario Luigi or Mario oh, and Bowser? Mario and Bowser is, is the, it's Mario versus Bowser is the teams. But then when I was playing that promo video, like I added like Skylanders and stuff. So, or not Skylanders, uh, Fortnite. And I'm listening to the kids as they're watching the little 30 second promo. They're like, oh, church is doing a series on Fortnite. Little do they know there's no Fortnite in this series. They the whole series excited. is about how like learning to like control like our tempers and learning to control our lives through Jesus. So yeah. And it's going to be awesome. We're in charge of our controller. Yes. So I love that. I'm excited for it. And I wonder, do you guys have a favorite video game that Call you played? Call of Duty. Yeah, he loves Call of Duty. So does I just all never the boys have did. time to play Call of Duty anymore. Or, or do your kids or grandkids have a favorite game or character? Um, we're definitely dressing up. For yep. I've got I've got my Miss Pac Man pants. I can't wait. My I really liked Pac Man as a kid. I liked Pac Man, of course. Like that was it when I was a kid. I was deprived though. I didn't have like all my friends when the Atari first came out. They all <laughs> had them. I had to go to their house. We we didn't have Ataris. And we that played kind of stuff. Mortal Kombat. No, we didn't have that. Like, Finish him. The best we had was the Atari. Was it the fifty two hundred? I don't even know. I don't I'm just know. old. I'm, yeah, it was on a covered wagon. <laughs> My, the extent of video games that my sister and I had were like the little Coleco visions. It was like a little handheld thing and it was like football or soccer and it was dots and dashes. Yes. And that's what we were playing. We would go on our car rides. Like we went up to upstate New York every weekend and uh, we would play it. And my mom would start screaming, like, turn off that volume. So like, cause all it was was bleep, 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 bleep. Right. right. And so now you had to turn it off. So now my sister and I are just playing these things with like dots and dashes, but you can't hear anything. You don't even know if you've scored because it's just a little <laughs> dot going across the screen. I remember my parents went to a, um, what are those things like a timeshare, they, the seminar, because it, the free gift was one of those original, um, you know, not Nintendo or Sega or anything, but one of those original uh, consoles where the Atari. Yeah, yeah, it basically was just like, I don't think it was Atari. I think it was whatever was the generic brand. And it had like a, a tennis game. And it was like, boop, boop, <laughs> boop. And that was it. And we were like, oh my gosh, this I thing is so amazing. We got a computer. I was, I think I was 13 or 14 years old. 
we got our computer. My parents went to, it was like an electronics expo. Mm -hmm. And they came home with a 13 inch color TV. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Hold on one minute. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we had to fill up tires on bicycles. Our nephew is learning how to ride a bike. Yeah, that's really exciting. It's really cool. Do you remember, like, it felt like yesterday we were teaching Caleb how to ride a bike. I know. It goes really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to talking about our week. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, we had a great week. Food-wise was... Kept it simple. Very simple. It was ground beef and eggs. Ta-da! Excuse me. Ground beef and eggs. That's what we ate this week. Yeah. Except for today, which is Friday, I ran to Whole Foods. It was awesome. And we got a grass-fed, grass-finished ribeye. And we didn't even sous vide it because, like, I didn't go till late. We were, like, doing stuff. I had a busy day at work. Mm -hmm. And so I ran up there and I got it. And it was uh, really awesome. It was a nice piece. And we got these hot dogs. And we got these hot dogs. Yeah. So all I did was I threw it onto the pit boss, 450 degrees, three and a half minutes on each side. And it was like almost two inches thick. And it came out perfect. It was I mean, awesome. not completely like where it was just the very edge, but you had a little bit where it was cooked in, but it was still really good. It was. It was really I mean, good. sous vide is my fave. Right. But, but that, that steak would have been good. an hour and a half in the sous vide, and it was already 6 o'clock when I was, I was throwing it on. I was not interested in waiting another hour. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, I found these hot dogs, these from Wilshire Farms, that were grass-fed, grass-finished hot dogs, and they were normally, like, I don't know, 7 or eight ninety nine a, a package, and they I were on sale for five ninety nine. so I bought four packages. They were like $5.39. My favorite line of the night is when you go... So this is how an all beef hot dog is supposed to taste. It, I mean, I'm looking at the package and there's like no seasonings in it. And it was awesome. It actually wound up being my last bite. You know, we always compete like, what will be my last bite when you're eating something good? It beat out the steak tonight. It was so good. And I mean, heck, I'm glad I bought four packages. I kind of want to go tomorrow and see if I can find some more because they are like over $3 off a package. And I've missed hot dogs. Yeah, me too. And the bottom line is, is it was amazing. They're only like 80 calories a hot dog and it was equal fat to protein ratios for fat for grams of fat to grams of protein. And I'm like, well, why were the hot dogs that we used to eating like 150 250 calories it's all, all the, the junk. junk they put in them yeah so i want to go get some more of those fillers but of course you sent me to whole foods and did not come so you don't know what you're getting so i came home with packages of, i went there for a steak you came home with pickles i came home with pickles Hot i dogs. came home with that I came home with Pepperoni some more pork rinds or salami salami pork rinds were on sale um, I got something else. Some, I got some broccoli. We haven't had broccoli in like two weeks. I just I like, know. it's time for a little bit of broccoli. Just a little bit. My like, stomach was like, what is this strange spear? Of course, the other thing I wanted to get was some rouse because this week the rouse was on sale for like four fifty nine, like a jar, which is like basically half price. Did not bring that home. I forgot. Because I did order some on the Whole Foods delivery, the Prime Now. And I ordered four jars of the regular and four jars of the Rouse um, vodka sauce one. Because oh, nice. that was low carb too. It was only like five total carbs per serving. And of course it shows up and the girl's like, oh, well, we didn't have any more of the Rouse vodka. So we substituted this and it's some other vodka sauce. And I'm like, not even close. Thank you. Like this one's yeah. got like 15 carbs per serving. Actually, it wasn't that much. I think it was the Whole Foods variant. It was like 10 carbs. But they're not thinking I'm like, it's not that. anywhere near like the Rouse. So I, it was awesome. I went online. I went to like the Prime Now and said like, this isn't what I ordered. And they're like, keep the four jars or give them to somebody, whatever you want to do, either eat them or give them away. And we're going to give you your money back. Yeah. So like, yeah, maybe I'll run back to Whole Foods tomorrow because I really would like to get some for that rouse just to have it because at four thirty nine a jar. But I think that that's pretty much what like all of America does, right? Like just swap out one for another. It's all the same, isn't it? And it's like, no, not all. Nope. Not even at Whole Foods, and, not all tomato sauce. And we don't equally. normally do the rouse. I mean, the, the vodka sauce that they gave me is probably equal to what we would normally get from Aldi's. Mm -hmm. But I really wanted the rouse. It was like three or four total carbs per serving. It's a big deal. And now I've got one that's like seven or eight. 
you know? Big difference. So, like, if I'm going to splurge on the rouse, I want my rouse. <laughs> Don't arouse his anger. <laughs> so, yeah, so it was a very simple week with food and moving in starting on Sunday. We're just going to do keto brick. Well, you're, dun, you're dun, doing dun, keto dun. brick and you're done. Yeah. Right? Because you're at 1,200 calories. Yeah. Because so that's all i Keto brick and a couple tablespoons of butter and you're done. I'm going to probably do a keto brick. I'm going to do about probably a third of a pound to a half a pound of ground beef. And then a couple tablespoons of butter. Well, I don't know if I'm just like running on excitement or what, but this week of all of the cut down to keto con, I feel the best. I feel the most optimum. I don't know if it's because we've kind of gotten rid of a lot of like the junk sweeteners and stuff that maybe I had like a real attachment well, to. I'll tell you what I think it is, is something that we changed this week. First of all, we've been doing two meals instead of one. Okay. And we haven't except been- Except for today. Except for, the, yeah, but, but the other thing is, is we haven't been doing that one meal at nine and 10 o'clock like we were. That's We've been true. eating earlier and cutting off our eating at like six or seven o'clock. And I think that's making a difference. I, I like it's it. it's making a difference. Whatever it is, I feel a lot better. Yeah. So next week, we may not have a keto on the couch. We may have a hotel version. May have a hotel version. We're gonna do our best because I don't know, like we made it keto on the couch next week. Just to kind of warn you guys, maybe like a compilation of stuff that happened at KetoCon. Because we're leaving Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Wow. We're not landing until midnight on Sunday. Gracious. So I am going to bring my laptop. I am bringing my brand new iPad. And I'm going to do some video editing. We're going to try to release some videos while we're there. Mm -hmm. Maybe one or two from there. Like we've Hopefully. got some videos filmed for we're next really week. We're really hoping. But we're going to try to film some stuff and then maybe edit it in the hotel at night and try to send it out. We should ask, though, is there anything we should be looking for? Is there something that you guys want us to look out for at KetoCon? Is there yeah. somebody you want us to try to meet at KetoCon? I know that, like, I've already talked to, like, uh, Keto Savage, Robert, and uh, a couple of other people, so. Can't wait to meet Autumn. Yep, we're going to see Autumn next week, so mm -hmm. it'll be good. So I do want to say that we need to move on to our comments, but I, I did want to say this week I was looking on our two crazy ketos family on Facebook. Okay. And like there was just some good stuff this week. Right? Like Jason actually I guess went to a book signing with Ken Berry. I was like super jealous. Oh, me too. Oh my gosh, that was cool. You know, like I was I was like I was looking at like where his book signing dates are and there's nothing coming near us. But I he love will Dr. be a keto con, so yeah. that'll be good. I'm going to be like Beep. But there were so many like cool things and and some, some cool finds. Somebody found they there is some store that a lot of our subscribers get to go to. It's like grocery outlet or something. Yes, Did we you need see that? that. We need we it. We need one of those. Yeah, because they can find even like duck fat and all kinds of well, stuff. Well, some there. of the finds that they're coming in there like are stuff that I haven't even seen in a regular store. So somebody that they had gone to that grocery outlet or whatever it was called and found like the Duke's. Like the little sausages that I like, where it was like Duke sausages and cheese crisps. Did you see that? It was awesome. So, like, I love that Facebook family group, but of course, it's like making me jealous of some of I the know. stuff that I can't have. <laughs> you got like Tara's going like camping every week. I want to go camping with Tara. I have. I mean, I want to go so bad. I was looking this week, and I'm like, the last time we went camping in July, I think we were gonna kill each other. It was very hot in And Florida. we were on the water. But, I mean, there were alligators right there, and we're like, I don't care. I'm going in the water. Yeah, right? we're going, move aside, alligator. My mother was with us, and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, it is too hot. She's like, there's an alligator a foot away from you. Who cares? You know, there's something about me that's weird, though. As long as I can put my feet in water, I'm okay. Like, no matter where we are, I just need, like, a bucket of water. And it can be really hot outside, but if I can just cool my feet off... I'm good. I know that's weird, but it is. It's I true. need to be submerged. I just at least need my feet in the water. And I certainly don't understand people who want to go to the beach and then not go in the water. I do not understand that. Like, I, I want to go in the water, and the second you say, okay, let's get out for a little while, I'm like, let's get in the car and go home. Yeah, no. If we're not in the water, I don't want to be here. It's just sticky and sandy. Yeah, no, no thank you. Ugh. You want to do some comments? Yes. I don't have my phone. I guess I have to go find it. We have to keep getting up on this video. I know. You're getting your exercise. 
Okay. I found my phone. He's back. I'm back. The entire reason why we got an Apple Watch is so that we could use it to find our phone yeah. and we lost it. Because I lose my phone like a million times a day. And our ringers are always off so you can't even call it. So you're like ding, ding to find it. Yeah. It's usually it's under a heap of laundry or it's in one of the kids rooms at church. Something. I love whenever I don't answer the phone, Rachel like uses find my iPhone because again, my ringer is always off and just on vibrate. He could be in, impo in an important meeting and She's it's all like, of a sudden. Ping. <laughs> okay. So subscriber of the week. So um, if you know what this is, we have our Facebook family group. Which and, we love. Um, and basically what we do is people who, like give us their stories, some pictures maybe of like their successes and their progress. And we pick one every week and make them a subscriber of the week. If you don't have Facebook, you can just send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Absolutely. So hadn't didn't get many this week, but this week is Michelle Lee Hughes. Also known as Queen, Queen Michelle Shelley Hughes. Hughes. Right? And so she gave us a couple pictures. We'll put them up here on the screen. Beautiful young lady. And she wrote, thank you so much for commenting on my comment on the couch vlog. I have been a queen in the Red Hat Society for 18 years. That is so cool. That's the queen in my name. I love it. She said, uh, we had a fabo party in Morocco and last year we went to Paris. Ahem, truth, I ate it all. <laughs> all of Paris. And she said, my friend posted my comparison videos. Oh my, OMG. Uh, what you said about losing inches before actual pounds is shown in these photos. Yikes. I'm down 27 pounds. And yes, I do weigh daily, but I measure once a month. That is awesome. Yeah, she looks incredible. Incredible. My mom is actually a part of the Red Hat Society. Is it's so really? fun. I yeah. Thought, I, didn't, I knew she went to like things with Red Hats. I didn't know it was the Red Hat Society. Yeah. it's. I think it's just such a cool organization. And mom loves it because they get to go places that, you know, she normally wouldn't get to go. Cool. In a group. So congratulations. You look amazing, Miss Queen. So you ready for some comments? Always. Maria Villarreal. Cream Hi, cheese. Maria. Oh, yum. I can't wait to try this. I just love how perky Rachel is. <laughs> Her eyes seriously sparkle with joy. Mm -hmm. She's like, did that sound kind of like a weirdo? LOL. Anyways, I love watching both of you. Thank you, Maria. I don't think she sounds like a weirdo. I think she sounds like my bestie. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Maria. That was awesome. Uh, Jen Delaney. Hi, Jen. She wrote, chicken salad is one of my favorite easy lunches. It's what I keep canned chicken on hand for. I'm going to hunt for your folio wrap video. I will put a link for that over Rachel's head. That was easy. Um, I've been waiting for those uh, for a while, but I can't find them locally. Your recipe is similar to mine, except for the cream cheese. I'll definitely try that next time. I will add about a half a cup or 50 grams of finely diced grapes to mine. Ooh. Eight carbs split out to three or four servings is something that I can live with. That's a great idea. I bet that adds like a power punch yeah. of flavor. Yeah, for the folio cheese wraps, I'll put a link over Rachel's head for that. And don't worry about not finding them. They're expensive. And honestly, we had bought like two packages of them and one of them went moldy. Yes, it did. So it was like $5 and we had to throw them out. Yeah, we you don't. Know, they are so easy to make. When you watch that video, you're going to be like, why am I even looking for them? We looked for them forever. And then when we found them, yeah, I was kind of disappointed. Disappointed. So Gail Crisp wrote. Hi, Gail. Walking is and always has been my workout of choice. Now I throw in a sprint here and there. Biking is fun and I haven't had a bike for at least 30 years. She said, Joe, that higher glucose in the morning is known as the dawn phenomenon. The two fit docs talk about that as well as some of the other keto docs on YouTube. Yeah, wow. I know. I, I knew what it's called. It's, it, I just forgot at the moment when you said it in the video. But yeah, the dawn phenomenon is basically, especially when you are low carb and been there for a while, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you have a spike of cortisol, you just, your body starts creating blood sugar or, you know, glucose from, you know, like your proteins and stuff. Does it scare you at all? Nope. But I also noticed that in this last week in eating a little bit earlier and having, eating some meals in the morning, I'm not having it as much. Well, that's so, good. So last few days I've checked, I've woken up with like 86 blood sugar. Whereas mm. again, I was waking up in the high nineties on a fasted state, but I think that's a combination of eating late and only eating that one meal a day and so but i've been incorporating a lot more fats into my diet this week because of our like low low carb, low carb deal so uh doll i hi doll wrote cool you both happen to agree with the same top products without consulting one another during a taste test oh is that the water the water one yeah 
Uh, the plain San Pellegrino is my favorite, but I add my own twist of fresh lemon. It comes in a bottle, and the cap is different from any others. It keeps going. It keeps it from going flat. Huh? Lime anything is a no go for me. I'm not normally like a lime person. So like if there's any other seltzer water flavor available, yeah, I'm grabbing that. Except, Except for, for grape. Except for key lime. Except for grape. Well, that's I'm not different. grabbing grape. The key lime is really good. I'm not yeah. usually like buying lime seltzer waters, but we, we just were just looking for something that we can get in every single company. Yeah, but that was, that's a neat thing. And I love San Pellegrino. I love San Pellegrino. And the, the Aldi's has a knockoff version of San Pellegrino. That's pretty good. That is really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's in like a plastic green bottle. Yep. Casey Jacobs wrote. Hey, Casey. Y'all are killing it. Aww. I'm down to 1,235 calories this week to Rachel, so uh, I understand. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to keep myself really busy and not think about it. LOL. I can't wait for KetoCon. Yeah, you have got to keep busy. Yep. If, if my mind is like, what could I be eating right now? I'm sunk. That has not been difficult this week. No, we've been like super busy, and it's been like, a, a th I'm thankful for it. Yep. Tammy Baldessaro Hi, wrote, Tammy. I love your personality, Rachel. Tammy, oh my goodness. So Donna Sparrow 4 wrote, Hi, Miss Donna. Would be interesting to see your before and after photos. Well, we can put some up right now. Brace yourself, <laughs> Effie. It's coming. So we have a video on like our story, but I think we're going to redo that. I'm actually planning on redoing it maybe even tomorrow. I'd like to redo it and maybe air it while we're gone. Wow, or, that's bold. But... You know, first of all, it's like our very first video. We had no idea what we were doing with YouTube. We still don't know. We st <laughs> How is that different? So I think we're going to redo that one. A lot of people have asked us to redo it and do kind of our story and kind of go through everything. But all right. yeah, a lot of people don't believe that you were fat. I was a whole lot of woman. <laughs> a whole lot. Of, a whole lot of woman. Okay. Nancy A wrote, I love Hi, you guys. Thank you for being so upbeat and wholesome. Spending time with you is such a pleasure. As a fellow believer, it's refreshing to not be accosted by the negativity that is prevalent on YouTube. May God continue to bless you both. Aww, well, thank well you. God bless you too. Thank you so much. We appreciate your prayers and encouragement. And we just love being with you guys. And I, I, I totally get what she's saying about like negativity and stuff. Like, I just don't do well with yeah. negativity. I'm hard enough on myself. We need to just have nothing but positivity in the keto space. Like, yeah. right? It's like we're here to encourage each other. And like we've got enough people that are not in keto yeah. that are fighting with us, telling us we're going to die, telling us your cholesterol is too high, telling us, that, you know, like don't eat this. I mean, I was on a forum the other day. And I see people saying, like, you need the only way to be successful on the keto diet is to start. You must test your ketones every day. And you cannot eat more than 1,200 calories, whether you're a man or a woman. I'm like, that's like the worst advice in the world. And people are like screaming at each other. I'm like, guys, let's be here and be encouraging. So well, we try really hard to. I love that just scripture be that talks about how life and death are in the tongue you both you've got That's you can right. you can speak life or you can speak death right. and i just i want to speak life into people's lives right like that's i want right. to encourage them and so yeah, that's that's what I choose. Yep. Bambi Hamilton wrote. Hi Bambi. I really love you two together. I thought it was so sweet when jo Joe said you were hot. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> Empty nest was so good for my husband and I. Oh, that's good. Well, that's encouraging because I see somebody that's like on the other side of this when we're still like, oh, I don't know what we're going to do. And it's nice to hear that there's good news. We're not completely empty nest because two of our boys live at home, but they're out a lot now. They've yeah. got like their own lives. So we don't, we have to just plan stuff without them. I have to, like when they leave and don't say bye every time, <laughs> I'm, I'm be like, oh, they didn't say bye. <laughs> Uh, Lori Hernandez, I Hi, love Lori. your videos. They're so uplifting. You are always cheerful. You just make me happy. I love all the information you give us. I look forward to seeing you both. Keep the videos coming. Thanks, Lori. Oh my goodness. We love hearing from you guys. Amanda S. wrote, I Hi, have Amanda. to get up so early if I want a bike or walk outside. It's hot in Phoenix. Also, my coconut oil is liquid most of the time. Man. It makes me so sad. So one of my good friends actually moved from down here in South Florida to Phoenix. And yeah, 
he was like, Joe, it is hot here. It's just a completely different hot. Like down is it here, the oven hot. You walk outside and you're like immediately drenched in sweat. It's like I'm and he wiping is like, my no, face. here you walk outside and you're immediately dry because there's. N- it, it just burns it up. Yeah, he sends me pictures of like the temperatures in his car. So I remember I went to Arizona, went for a trip. I went to Scottsdale, Arizona, and it was like in July. Oh. And I just remember how miserable I was. And at the time, I still lived in New York. So it was really miserable going from New York to Arizona. Super shock. But it was like being in an oven. I mean, it was like literally I felt like I just stuck my head in an oven. As soon as you sweat, it like evaporates. You didn't sweat. Did, did it like weird you out? No, I didn't like that at all. So. I still enjoy, for the most part, getting up early and having my bike ride before like the sun is in full shine. I do really well with the heat so long as I work my way into it. So if I like, if I start my day at seven in the morning, eight in the morning, or like when I do football, if I start in that morning, the heat will not bother me, it, no matter how hot it gets. What will bother me is it if I then go get in air conditioning and then come back out in there or if I don't start my day until mm-hmm. like 10 or 11 o'clock and you go outside and it's already 95 degrees. But if I work my way into that heat, it I won't bother me all day. As you're speaking, it's reminding me of that like object lesson about the frog that won't go into a pot of boiled water. But if you put it in like it's exactly tepid water it and then like turn, you know, like turn the, the heat up gradually. He'll, he'll boil to death. Well, that's one of the things that with my job, because doing landscaping, we're like in the car, out of the car, in the car, out of the car, in the car, that can out mess of the you car, up. and that could really mess you up. Oh, my phone locked. But it recognizes you. Even with glasses on. Okay. Rubbing it in. Sylvia wrote. Hi, o- Sylvia. OMG, Rachel, butt shorts and a new lease on life. You guys are so funny. Joe, seriously, to clarify, she was wearing shorts and bikini top. I was laughing so hard. Thanks for the great video and the good laugh to start my week. So I washed Joe's pants, and I don't know if you're supposed to take the butt out or not. No, I left those the butt. Pads don't come out. Okay, because I left the butt in. And when the wash was done, it came out like butt on top. The butt had risen to the top it's of... It's just like a gel padding. But I'm just saying it was just so funny because like I open up the the washer and there's like butt like nestled there. It was like oh, okay. Are you done with butt? Yeah. Okay. But... <laughs> Bookworm Sarah wrote, LOL. Hi, Bookworm Sarah. I have this playing at work in the background as I work on a writing curriculum. I just yelled out, oh, that's me to the entire office. Aww. Thanks, everyone, for suggestions. It's so hot here in Texas, and I'm going to find things that won't heat up the house and me to cook. I'll have to try the broccoli slaw this week. Yes, that the is The broccoli slaw good. is really good, and if you don't have broccoli, you can use cabbage. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, I just happen to like it with the broccoli, but that broccoli slaw is so good. We get it at Trader Joe's. That's so cool. She's writing curriculum. Yeah. That's awesome. Jason Butler, Hi, Keto Jason. on the Couch and the Raptors Championship Parade. This is a good Monday. Aw, that's awesome. Katie Walters. Hi, Katie. Oh, my goodness. Three and a half hour drive. Just pulling into the office wow. site. I will be working at this week and realize I left my cinnamon smart cakes at home. Oh, oh no. gosh. Thanks for the Keto on the Couch time. Oh well, thanks for spending your time with us. So you're going to kill me for putting this one in here. Oh, no. What Queen you... Shelly Hughes wrote, Hi, you Queen... two crack me up. No kids equals be naked. Alone in the pool equals be naked. You've mentioned odd sleeping hours. No kids equals stay in bed together. No kids equals intimate time together that you couldn't do with kids wandering in on you at any time. Oh my gracious. No, I promise being in the pool meant being in the pool. No, I I like her idea. She's saying no kids in the house. Let's get naked. Oh my gracious. That's a... Okay, Jen Delaney wrote, Hi, Jen. I really enjoy your positivity and your love for each other and your community. I kind of, I'm kind of new around here, and I love hearing how people met and decided to commit to one another. Would you mind sharing your story or telling me if it's in a past video? It wow. is in a past video. It's our very first video, but like we just said, we are going to refilm that. We'll probably leave the original one up, but we're going to refilm like our story, how we met, how we got started in keto within the next couple days, maybe tomorrow. He was a pizza delivery guy. Yeah, I wish. That... <laughs> the pizza would have never made it to somebody's house. You would have eaten it? Is that what I would have eaten it all. I love pizza. <laughs> MJ Hawk wrote, Hi, MJ. Oh, do I ever re- relate with the difficulty of staying keto and having fruit trees? Yes. I have 
a pretty decent sized orchard that I've planted over the last 10 years. Wow. I manage it 100% organically and I really put a lot of time and effort into growing beautiful fruit. In my case, I have decided to allow myself limited small amounts of fruit that I grow for myself only when it's in season. For example, last month has been strawberry season here on the homestead, but it will be done in the next week. I probably won't eat another strawberry until they start ripening next May. And I'm not going to lie, my workouts have been extra productive with a little bit of extra carbs from the strawberries. Eating food I grow myself makes me happy and it encouraged me to get outside and get some sun. By the way, yay chickens. Chickens are way quieter and less annoying than dogs. Yet dogs are all seem normal. Aw. So I love that. Yes. And I and we've talked about that in the that past. That is really the way the way I believe that God intended to be. That's the way our ancestors did it. Like when you look at like our ancestors, even like the people in like Little House on the Prairie time, right? During the summer, you ate what you could grow. Mm-hmm. During the winter, they ate primarily meat because you and couldn't they grow anything or whatever you canned. But, but that was limited. But it was limited, right? And that, and you only ate what you can get. If you lived in Florida, you didn't really get apples, no. right? Because they didn't grow here. You got oranges. Mm-hmm. If you lived up north, it was like the invention of like the planes and the trains where you could now get whatever fruit, whatever vegetable you want year round because it's and always as much in of it as you can eat and that's what i believe has caused some of these problems so if you have for example i have a mango tree if i decide mangoes are in season for like three to four weeks yeah and that's it now unless i go and eat every mango on that tree if i pull a mango off i know i could eat that mango i may have a little bit of sugar get knocked out of ketosis for a couple of hours but I've been doing this for almost for over two and a half years. I can go right back into ketosis, no problem. Mm-hmm. Now, if I start eating mangoes every day year round, well, that's where your problem is. Yeah, because that's juicing not it, how it was intended. Making you know. Yeah, then you juice it and you take out all the fibers. So you're right. only getting sugar. Well, and you're gonna and how many are you gonna juice? Right, it's gonna be like five or six of them in order to make a cup of whatever juice you're making. So yeah, like I think. I think she's just doing it that right. You're absolutely, MJ, doing it. That's I have no issue with doing it that no, way. No, I think you know? that's brilliant. If you're only eating, you know, hey, I've grown a tree. I want to have a couple of apples from it. I like, think that's precious. That's absolutely. And at least you know it's organic. You're putting the work into growing it, you know. Enjoy yeah. the fruits of your labor. Absolutely. So uh, Jeff Fisher wrote. Hi, Jeff. One of my favorites is jalapeno poppers. This was when they, on that one question about, like, what kind of I snacks love- have. I love jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers cut in half and cleaned out, stuffed with cream cheese and cheddar cheese mixed together, wrap in bacon, or you can then use sweet mini peppers too. You don't have to use bacon and you can put bacon bits on the cream cheese mixture. It's funny, the day he wrote this, we made those, right? I mean, I made it, all I do is I take a jalapeno pepper, I cut out the seeds, I fill it with cream cheese, put cheddar cheese on top, Mm -hmm. right? But it's the same kind of thing. They are great fat bombs. They're so delicious. The problem is that there are carbs in jalapeno peppers, so you really can't overdo. Don't eat more than like three to four halves because you you can get up there in carbs. And I but can eat they, like 20 of them if I you I don't know. If me. they get good and spicy, like a couple of them finish uh, me off. Not me. I can, I can eat 20 of them. But there's carbs in the cream cheese, there's carbs in the cheddar cheese, and there's carbs in those jalapeno peppers. They're so delicious. It's worth it. Yep. Uh, Colleen Kuda wrote, I love this video. You two crack me up. Hey, Rachel, check out Maggie May's Naturals Mineral Makeup online. Ooh. She said, I love it. And even being all natural, it's so affordable. This coming from a 50-year-old that wore CoverGirl until two years ago and still uses the same mascara that I always have. Yeah. Well, you should check that out. I'm going to. Because we, I mean, we went into like Lucky's looking at some of the all-natural makeups and like the prices were like through the roof. It was, it was crazy. Rachel was like, I think I'll just deal with like skin cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can, I don't think I can stomach this price tag, but... I do want you to try to say I will that name look. three times fast. Maggie Mays Naturals Mineral Makeup Online. What do you want me to say? Can, Just Maggie Mays? Can you try to say the whole thing three times fast? Maggie Mays, <laughs> Maggie Mays Natural Mineral Makeup. Maggie Mays Natural Mineral Makeup. Maggie Mays. I can't say it. I, <laughs> can you do it? Let me try. Maggie Mays Natural Mineral Makeup Online. Maggie, Maggie Mays Natural nope, Mineral. No, you can't do it. I can't you do it. up already. So last one. Mary Meldeck. Hi, Mary. She wrote, doesn't look like Rachel was ever overweight. Well, 
I was. I was great big. She was huge. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, you always liked me for me. Because even when you married me, I was big. You weren't that big, though. I was pretty big. I thought you looked incredible. You were always just, you liked me for me. I appreciate that. Well, we've literally had a marriage through thick and thin for both thick of us. Thick and thin. Get it? I love it. Well, that is all the comments for this week's Keto on the Couch. Do us a favor and leave comments and questions for next week's Keto on the Couch down below. Mm -hmm. And we will answer them next week. We will, I'll try to answer them like from KetoCon. So excited. So, and yep, yeah, next week when we're supposed to be filming this, we will be at KetoCon. We will have some kind of video enabled, entitled Keto on the Couch. It may be like Keto on the Couch at the hotel, but we'll have something for you next week. Yeah. And then... Obviously, keep, you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel for all of our other videos that will be coming out over this coming week. And don't forget to hit the like button. Yeah. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And if you did like what you saw, please do us a favor and hit the like button down below. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.